What's up you guys, this is Jorge Zapeta, and for this week's video you guys, we're doing a comb over with a nice little drop fade. If you guys are new to my channel, you guys want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys would like to purchase any of the tools and equipment I use throughout this whole video, the links will be down there in the description down below. To start off this haircut, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start to saturate my client's hair with water to make the combing and uh, parting a lot easier. And since we are doing a comb over you guys, you guys want to make sure that part, the, the hard part, is really nice and straight. Alright, to go ahead and start the fade, I always like to remove any of the bulk just because this hair is really long. Uh, so here I have my cordless magic clips with my number one and a half guard, and I have the lever all the way open, and we're going to go ahead and uh, start to remove the bulk. And here if you guys notice I am using a comb just to kind of help me visually see where I want the one and a half guard to stop. Now using this carbon flat top comb, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start to blend in the number one and a half guard to the, to the side. Also if you guys are really not comfortable with using the clipper over comb, what I would recommend you doing is just uh, attaching your number two guard, flicking out. Also uh, once you're done with that, attach the number three, number four, number five, etc. Just, just enough to where it's uh, nice and long still on the side and you're uh, blending up. It does take longer doing it that way, but it's just an alternative way uh, if just in case you're not comfortable with the clipper over comb. Alright, now to go ahead and uh, start the fade, I'm bringing out the world famous, my cordless detailers. You guys know how much I love these clippers, just because I use them on every single haircut. And they're so convenient uh, to use just because they're nice and small, and uh, they're great for balding out. So now for any bald fade, you always want to go ahead and uh, use the 5 star shaver just to get it nice and bald. Alright you guys, now switching over to the uh, cordless magic clips. My first uh, guideline I'm going to go ahead and uh, set is with the no guard all the way open and we're going to go ahead and go up about an inch.
Now we're going to go ahead and uh, start to blend out that bottom line. So now I have my lever all the way closed and we're going to go ahead and uh, start flicking out a quarter of an inch up uh, just to kind of go ahead and start erasing that bottom line. Now using the lever halfway, we're going to go ahead and uh, finish blending out that bottom line by flicking out. Now that we got rid of the, the bottom line, now we're going to go ahead and create a new guideline by uh, using the number 0 guard or the 1 16th and uh, with the lever all the way open we're going to go ahead and create a new guideline by going up about half an inch. Now can anyone guess how we're going to go ahead and get rid of that bottom line? Yeah of course we're going to go ahead and uh, close the lever all the way and start flicking out that bottom line. Now since we're done with the zero guard, the next step is of course the number one guard. Uh, so now I have the number one guard with the lever all the way open and we're going to go ahead and create another guideline by going up about half an inch. Now following the same fading system, we're going to go ahead and uh, close the lever all the way and start flicking out that bottom line. Honestly you guys, I really think this, uh, this method is really easy and really simple. Uh, basically what you guys are doing is just adding a new guard and opening it all the way, creating a guideline, and then after that just to get rid of that bottom line all you guys have to do is close the lever all the way. It's really really simple. If you guys follow this uh, steps on every single haircut, I can guarantee you um, the fade will come out looking nice. And you guys, not everyone's head is perfect. And if you guys end up leaving a line with the previous step, you guys always want to go back uh, to your previous step, which is the, the half guard in this case, and uh, start to blend out that bottom line. Don't, don't move on until you're completely satisfied with the bottom part. And then go ahead and uh, move on to the next step. So once I finished blending out that, uh, I attached my number one and a half guard. And this time, since I already did the uh, the one and a half guard all the way open to take down the bulk, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start off with the lever all the way closed and try to flick uh, the best I can to finish blending off the, the side.
Now here I'm kind of cleaning up the part once again just in case any of the little hairs moved uh, while I was doing the fade. So here I'm just kind of going over it and cleaning it up. All right, so now that we got the part nice and straight again, I'm using my cordless detailers to go ahead and set in the part. And these things are really, really good at leaving in parts just because they cut through anything, you guys. Uh, here I have the lever all the way closed and they're pretty much zero gapped and they're gonna leave the line nice and sharp. Alright, now to go ahead and begin the lineup, I'm pulling the hair back and I'm going to set in my clips just to get the, the top hairs out of the way. And here I'm kind of sectioning off just a little bit just, uh, just to kind of see where I'm going uh, to uh, leave the hairline. So now here I have my number one and a half guard and I'm going to start to remove the bulk from the lineup just to make it easier on me when I go in with the liners to shape it up. Now to shape them up I am using one of my favorite liners which is the Andis Blackout GTX. Uh, I do have that modified blade, the link will be in the description down below on where you guys can purchase it. And uh, basically I'm always starting in the middle and working my way over to one side, finishing that side and then I'll work over to the other side and finish the other side as well. Now to go ahead and prep his hair to style, uh, I am using the Elegance Hair Serum just to, to prevent uh, me burning his hair or damaging it. Uh, I really like to use this product and it also helps me add a little bit of volume as well. As far as blow drying you guys, I always like to blow dry the side and the top. Uh, just basically just to lay down the hair as much as I can, especially because my client does have really straight hair and it tends to uh, stand up a lot.
now that his hair is pretty much all dry and I have it uh, ready to lay down uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go in with the clipper over comb just because I see a little bit of bulk in that area right there so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean it up just a little bit So here I did notice a little bit of a dark spot right there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go in with the clipper uh, just to kind of go ahead and uh, clear that up. Alright, the product that I will be using to style his hair is the Layerite. This product is really amazing, you guys. Uh, the, the name speaks for itself. It really does uh, lay the hair right. Having uh, my client have that super straight hair is very important that you use a really good product uh, that's going to get the job done. But that's it for this video you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it or learned something new from this um let me know what type of haircuts you guys like to see most on my channel and i'll try to go ahead and uh, do my best just to go ahead and give that to you guys um and if you guys want to purchase any of the tools and equipment i use inside this video the links will definitely be in the description down below and don't forget to follow me on instagram at jay the barber but that's it for me this week you guys i'll see you guys next week